All right, here we are with another uh, basic video. This is an entry level video. If you find yourself thinking that I'm uh, trying to offend your intelligence, this isn't the video for you. This is for someone that uh, has no idea um, or it's trying to give them an idea. Uh, I'm still working on my McCullough chainsaw, Eager Beaver 2014 model. It's a very old chainsaw, having running problems with it. I have a couple other videos, uh, te testing compression, rebuilding the carburetor. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them. But uh, I'm just posting them as I go along and separating them so uh, they can be searched. Even though all the tests I've done so far has been a total of uh, 30 minutes. <clears throat> I've got the um, chain or the bar off and the uh, brake off. You don't have to do this, obviously. This is just for uh, demonstration to see it easier because um, this case covers pretty close over the spark plug. So um, I'm showing in this video, I'm showing you how to test your spark. Um, there's two different ways, or there's three different ways. Um, one is just using your spark plug. The only caution I would say to that is uh, I do it, but um, make sure where your spark ends up at isn't by your um, spark plug hole. I did see in a shop once that the guy was testing it right next to the hole, and as you're pulling it over, it's shooting raw fuel misted uh, perfectly ready to be fired out the spark plug hole well the spark plug was there and it had good spark and it, it lit it and it just did a puff of fire and caught the guy by surprise in, in my shop it didn't hurt anything but uh, I always pull it to the side away from it anything metal um, to test it on is fine uh, tuck it up there like that and what we're trying to look for is in the gap of the spark plug we're trying to look for a, um, a bright blue spark and always want to make sure your on off switch is uh, in the on position this one off is uh, down so you want to pull it up I've done that several times where I've checked spark and I've had it in the off position and it had no spark so you want to make sure that you want to make sure your your on off position is right. All right. So, and forgive me for the positioning on this on the camera. I can't see where it's at without looking behind it every time. So anyway, I'm going to leave it on this side so you can see it. Hopefully, uh, if you can't see it, um, or if I don't think that it's it's bright enough, I'm going to turn off this light I have. So it'll show better, but uh, there's no risk of it starting. Obviously, the spark plugs out, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's try it. I don't think I'm getting a good enough ground there. What I'm trying to do is the spark plug's metal and I'm trying to ground it out onto metal to look for the spark. not a good enough spark. Hold on one second. Okay, I am getting a little spark. I'm going to turn this light off. Hopefully it'll show up better. So um, there's the spark plug down in there. Uh, 
Okay, so it's getting spark. It's not the bright blue thick spark like I'd like, but it's getting it. So the next step, or the other way to test it, if you don't want to take the spark plug out or you don't have a wrench on you, uh, is this spark stick is what they called it when I picked it up. This one has a lot larger of a gap to jump so so on an engine that has spark but just has weak spark it might not show up on this one um, it has to jump from one side of this glass all the way to the other um, the convenience of this one though is that you don't have to take the spark plug out and I'm going to have to change the camera to the other side. So hold on one second. Should have had this camera on this side the whole time. It, it makes it uh, a lot easier to show you since the spark plug's on that side. But with this one, it's kind of a little bit more difficult on this one because the wire is short. But there's a cutout groove inside the spark tester. And this one, you just lay that cutout right on the wire. Now, I might not be able to get it to show spark with this one. No, that one's not going to show it. Primarily what I do when, I, when I'm using this one, since obviously you can't hold this version. Uh, and there's another version, I couldn't find it, uh, where you, you plug it in to your spark plug boot. Uh, and then you just clamp it to the cylinder or anything metal. That's my favorite one to use, and that's probably why I can't find it, because I use that one so much. Um, so back to this one. What you... Primarily what I use is if an engine's running and the customer complaint is that it's dying out or, or it's sputtering or anything like that, I'll start a machine and then I can lay this on it while it's running so there I don't have to worry about not having hands on it. So I can have it running, I'll lay this right next to the spark plug wire and I can see the spark firing. Now right when it stalls out, it's important to know is this still firing? Um, then it's not a spark issue why it's dying. Um, solid state, the, the solid state on the ignition could be heating up and expanding and causing it to not fire anymore. Or points could be failing on an older machine. There's a lot of different things. So, if you got this one on it, it runs, it dies, you watch this right as it's dying. If you still have spark, then you know it's not a spark issue. Uh, it's probably a fuel issue. Um, or, or a valve issue or something like that. If you have this on and it dies, and it dies right as soon as this stops, then you automatically know it's a spark issue. You have to go back to figure out solid state, points, um, all that stuff. So anyways, that's going uh, way advanced. And I can show you if I get a, a unit in that's, that's having that problem. Um, that's the end of this video. This is just a real quick video on on um, checking spark to figure out if your if your engine has spark the three things I talk about in my other videos that your engine has to have is uh, fuel spark and compression uh, if it doesn't have those three it can't run um, the most important of those three is going to be your compression uh, that's the heart of your engine so uh, I had another video showing you the compression on this machine it has 150 psi so that's really good still but uh, anyways thanks for watching Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we appreciate it. Thank you.